this little demo of using the uh, twisty MIDI controller that I designed uh, for Norns with Norns. So right now the uh, MIDI controller is plugged into the Norns and if I look in the system menu here devices, MIDI devices, we can see it shows up Arduino Leo, Leonardo ETH. So that's just how it shows up. Now if I I'm going to demo this with Dronecaster. Okay, so let's carry on Dronecaster. So I want to get to the MIDI mapping menu. So I'm going to map the amplitude to an oscillator. So I'll go to the controller here. I'll go to the LFO page. And I'm going to turn off initially all the LFOs. I'm going to map it to this top one here. So if I enable learn and I turn up the amplitude, see it learned it. And it found it on CC80. And you can see now the, the amplitude is changing. So let's go back and let's learn the note on the second LFO. So make sure again we turn this thing down before we try to map it. We'll learn it, we'll map the note to the second LFO. And found it. So let's go back and let's just for fun, let's map the drone, which drone we're going to use, to the third LFO. So enable learning. Turn up the LFO, and there is it's jumping around through the uh, different LFOs. So let's go back to Dronecaster now. You see it's changing, changing a little too fast, so let's fix this. Uh, it's going to tweak some of these LFO values so they make a little more sense. Okay, so I've tweaked the uh, LFOs. So we have amplitude changing, you can see it's changing, ramping up and down um, uh, every couple of seconds. And the note is changing again every couple of seconds, it'll change, change a different note. And then the, LF, or the uh, actual drone selected changes roughly every 10 seconds or so. So these are the settings on the LFOs. Now my audio comes out of my Norns, goes into my audio interface, and into my iPad. So what I have set up here is pretty, hopefully, eh, a lot of screen clear. Um, anyhow, I have AUM, so USB input comes from my audio interface. I have Gauss Looper in here, and Gauss is set up to record um, an overdub with a 40% uh, decline on every loop. The loop is uh, nine seconds, I think. So what this does is it's going to kind of keep some of the uh, as as we switch drones, it's going to kind of keep the old one around for a while and keep recirculating it while the new one kicks in. And then I just have uh, uh, FAC reverb on here to kind of jazz things up a little bit more. Man, that's really glary, isn't it? So anyway, um, let's give a listen. So we'll start Dronecaster.
changing drones, sort of blending it together through the loop. It's kind of like instant uh, sci-fi soundtrack, <laughs> or maybe soundtrack to a horror movie, I don't know. So kind of cool because uh, there's just turn that off. <laughs> so until recently, there was really no way to uh, add LFOs. Now there is a, a, a uh, I think an add-on or a mod to Norns recently that you can do LFOs, but you know it is nice to have something tactile here. We can just tweak the knobs and stuff and. Of course, you got 64 CCs you can diddle with here too, as well as I'm just demonstrating the LFO. So, yeah, so lots of fun. So that's uh, that's Twisty, the DIY MIDI controller. <laughs> 